But this is a rainstorm, and one thing I have to say is, in North Carolina, in the summertime, when we're getting rain, 90% of the time, it's what? It's a storm. We get a storm, and it's coming down pretty hard. At the end of that storm, you go, we always say, well, have a kid, hey, we got a rain, and my dad said, yeah, but it all ran off. It didn't look any good. Somebody else would say, yeah, but pond's full. The pond's full. Isn't that great? The pond's full. They say, yeah, well, now you can irrigate out of that pond back onto the field that it ran off from. I pretty much, when I do my demonstration, I pretty much use this standard formula of, of conventional cropland, uh, healthy soil cropland, healthy pasture, overgrazed pasture. And uh, the fifth one in the middle is kind of something I've been doing, doing more recently with the residue. You can do whatever you want. You can do your own configuration. Sometimes I've taken a real sandy, conventional soil uh, and put that in there. I did that one time down in eastern North Carolina. I told somebody, bring me the sandiest cropland soil you can find. And I took the, he brought it. I thought he'd gone to the beach. It was so sandy. And I put it in there and I was kind of scared. So, and it was from a watermelon farm, you know, a lot of tillers. I said, what are you going to, I told the farmers and everybody, I said, what do you think is going to happen? He said, I'll tell you what's going to do. It's going to go right through it. It's just going to go right through it. I said, well, you may be right. I, I don't know. I don't know. And so we ran that and 90% of it ran off. And it was just sand. <laughs> it was sandy. So this can work with a lot of different kinds of soil. Organic matter and sand, the sandier the soil, the organic matter is harder, harder to build, but it's not impossible. You can still do it. It just takes, it just takes a little more work.